YouTube, I'm Donna. Welcome to Double D Homestead. And today I'm going to be making chicken casserole with biscuit topping. It's sort of like a chicken pot pie, sort of. So anyway, with that being said, come on in here and I'll show you how we make this. It's all stuff we should have on our shelves. To get started, you're going to put two tablespoons of oil in a pan, just like so. And then you're going to add, and my pan's nice and warm, a half of a medium green pepper, which I had some frozen ones out of my garden from last year, and that's what I'm using. And a small onion, I'm using half of a medium onion because that's what I have. <laughs> and we're gonna saute these up. And if you have fresh mushrooms, you wanna put in two thirds of a cup of fresh mushrooms at this point. I have canned. I've drained them and I'm just gonna throw my can of mushrooms in there because I don't have any fresh. <laughs> and we're just gonna saute these up until our onions get translucent. Alrighty, see how the onions have changed color? That's what I'm looking for. And to this, I'm gonna add a te half a teaspoon of salt and pepper. The recipe doesn't call for that, but I'm putting it in anyway. <laughs> Two tablespoons of cornstarch. Put that in. And then I'm slowly gonna add two cups of cold milk, or a cup and a half of cold milk, sorry. And I'm gonna cook this. Oh, and our chicken. I oh, can't forget the chicken now. You want two cups of cooked chicken chopped up this is home canned chicken that I did in 2021. And if you have the canned chicken off the shelf, you have some leftover roasted chicken, this is a perfect recipe to use this up with. So we're just gonna cook this until we get a nice thick gravy-esque type of deal going on here. And this is already smelling really good. This step doesn't take real long, so just keep an eye on it. It's gonna get thick quick on ya once it starts getting thick. And mine's getting thick right now. So I think I'm gonna call that done. And we'll go on to the next. Our next step is to pour this into a casserole pan. And you're gonna start your oven for 400 degrees right now. So it is getting nice and hot while we make the biscuit mix to go on top. All right, and for the biscuit part of this, we're gonna need two cups of flour, a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm using all-purpose flour. If you're using self-rising, this stuff is already in your flour. And this is all sifted. Excuse me, I'm gonna sneeze and then, <laughs> sorry about that. And then we're gonna, I've, I've got a third cup of shortening here, and you're just gonna work this in until you get it like, uh, look like a clumpy, not clumpy, um, grainy, thicker grains, like you're making a pie crust and you want all them little pebbles in there. Tiny little pebbles, that's what we're looking for. All right, and this is what you're looking for. See this? That's what you're looking for. You see how it's kind of like bigger crumbles? <laughs> and then you're gonna take about two thirds cup of milk and add in here. And I'm gonna make a little well for this and just work this in here to make a biscuit dough. Now it says you can take this out and knead it a few times and cut it out in round biscuits if you want. You know me, I'm making drop biscuits because that's what I like. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this and get this into a nice biscuit dough. Oh yeah, this is coming together very nicely. You hear the baby chicks in the background? It's like spring's here because the babies are here and there's more babies coming. The goats that be having babies before long. This makes you feel like spring when the babies are arriving. Does me anyway. <laughs> All right. So I got me a biscuit dough here. It's not too sticky. And all I'm gonna do now, 
I'm not going to take it out and roll it because <laughs> I like my drop biscuits. I'm going to take my casserole pan right here and just drop me some nice biscuits right off my spoon just like that and cover the whole top of it just like so. And once you have that done, it does say to take milk and brush the tops of your biscuits, which is something I've never done, so I'm gonna give it a try and see how it comes out. And once you get this part done, you put it in your oven and bake it until the biscuits are nice and brown and done. This says 10 to 15 minutes, and you know, it all depends on your oven and all that. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these in the oven and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. And there it is out of the oven. See it bubbling, ooh, it smells good. So I'm gonna brush this with butter because it's a biscuit. And I'm gonna let this sit a few minutes and I'll plate it up and we'll give it a taste test. Here's a close up of it. Not the prettiest food ever but I think it's gonna be delicious. So let's give this a taste. Kinda reminds me of chicken and dumplings with different vegetables. <coughs> Excuse me. My biscuits come out good and done. This is definitely good. And it does remind me of chicken and dumplings. I hope y'all, oh, I'm gonna let you know I did cook the biscuits. I would turn the oven up to 425. They took about 20 to 25 minutes of shish in there somewhere to bake all the way. So other than that, this is great. I hope you like this recipe. Y'all take care. God bless. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.